I see when I look at the Rectal Toolkit is a great example of problem solving in the intelligence world. Technology is designed to fix hard problems. My name is Dr. Vince Houghton. I'm the historian and curator here at the International Spy Museum. The International Spy Museum has the largest public display of espionage artifacts anywhere in the world. Time to time, I'll see visitors looking at our escape and evasion case, which is all the tools to help you get out of a bad situation. And you can just watch their eyes as they go from artifact to artifact until they lock on to the rectal toolkit. And, and it's almost like you can see their brain working and then the light bulb pops. Are you kidding me? What I have in my hand is a CIA-issued rectal toolkit given to CIA officers during the height of the Cold War. So the materials that rectal toolkits are made of varies to a degree, but you want to make sure that you have a material that does not have the chance of having kind of sharp edges or any kind of splintering effect because of the sensitive places that we're putting this. It also has to be finely machined. The seals have to be very tight, not only to prevent things from seeping into the actual toolkit itself, but also so that you don't have any kind of sharp edges or ridges that could possibly injure you when you're using this particular artifact. What the toolkit allows them to do is have on hand ways to get them out of a bad situation, to pick a lock, to, to drill your way through a door, to kind of carve your way uh, to make a small tunnel, or and think of all the different ways that you could maybe break out of a jail cell, like the you know, things that might, people might bake into a cake. Well, these are all encompassed inside this toolkit because guards are gonna put you in a place and say, oh, the door's locked. We don't have to really pay a lot of attention to this guy because they don't think that you have these tools with you. And if you do, you have a huge advantage. These people who work in intelligence agencies building these gadgets are given some impossible tasks. And they're trying to figure out ways to solve the impossible problem. So this is a great indication of that. Right? You present a problem, say, if our guy's captured and he's searched, let's say he's strip searched, how do we provide him with the tools to help him escape from this terrible situation? Well, there's your rectal toolkit. And sometimes this is a matter of life and death.